everybody who comes into your life, right? And I don't want you to overthink this. I don't want you to start making people bad people that aren't bad. You know, you just overlooking everything because nobody's perfect. Let's get that. All right. But everybody who comes into your life doesn't want the best for your life, period. Especially when they know they can take advantage of you, especially when they see your areas of insecurity. Like one way that you know somebody is trying to take advantage of you is they're always trying to secure your insecurities because they want to gain your trust. Understand that the first thing a person wants to do is gain your trust because they know if they gain your trust, they will have access to your life. And when they have access to your life, that's when they can take advantage of your life. Okay. So if it's not reciprocated, like it's pretty simple. If you're always doing for somebody else, like I'm not telling you to always expect something in return. Like I'm not telling you to do something expected in return. But if somebody truly cares about you, they're going to be doing for you also, right? If somebody truly loved you, right? It's not going to be a one-way street. Relationships that are one-way streets will come to a dead end eventually, or they should come to a dead end. A relationship, a friendship, any ship that's sailing, going, it should be a two-way street. And so you have to be aware of that. Like if somebody consider, if somebody's supposed to be your friend, but they never support you at all, and you always support them, that is not your friend, period. If someone can't be happy for you when you're happy, like if somebody can't applaud you, you know, an accomplishment, you graduated, you did something big, you know, you made something happen with your life. If they can't say good job, congratulations, and be genuinely happy for you, that person is not your friend. I want to be clear. And what you have to do is set up boundaries. Like if you continue to be used, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be empty at the end of the day. If you keep giving, 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 and they keep taking from your life, taking from your life, taking from your life, guess what? You are not going to be fulfilled at all. And I, like I said in that video, get around people who pour into your cup, not just want to drink from it. Like seriously. And you know, I, I've seen a lot of people talk about what I said at the end about cutting people off. Let me let me, let me, me straighten this out. When I tell you to cut people off, it doesn't mean that you don't talk to them ever again. It doesn't mean that you don't love them. None of that. But you realize that you can't have certain people in your life like that. Just being real. Like if you want to have a peaceful life, but you're trying to keep somebody in your life that brings nothing but drama to your life, you're not going to have a peaceful life. If you're trying to heal your life, but you're around somebody who brings nothing but pain, guess what? You're not going to heal your life. It's just facts. And so it doesn't mean that that person's a bad person. It doesn't mean that you don't talk to them anymore. You just limit your connection with that person. And like I said in the video, man, don't feel guilty when somebody handed you the scissors. And people will try to make you feel guilty. People will try to turn the tables on you and try to make you feel like you the bad person when they treated you bad. Try to make you feel like you wrong when they did you wrong. And what we do is we sit there and we feel guilty and we give people another chance. Let me tell you something about second, third, fourth, fifth chances. You're not obligated to give anybody another chance. Do I believe in second chances? Yes, I do. But I don't believe in third and fourths. I don't believe fifth and sixth. No, I don't. Do I believe in forgiveness? You bet I do. Forgiveness is mandatory because, because forgiveness is not just for me. I mean, forgiveness is not just for that person. It's really not for that person at all. It's for myself. And so you got to protect your life. You got to guard your heart. You have to set the standard and tone for your life and stop allowing people to use you like straight up. I feel like that's what I'm doing with the exception of one person. Yeah, whatever, whoever it is, whatever it is in your life, man, like set some boundaries and set the tone and let people know what it's not going to be. And I've done it plenty of times. With people, And I don't feel bad for it because I prioritize my peace. I know I'm a good person. I know I'm a great person, but I'm not going to be, I'm not going to surround myself in an environment. I'm not going to surround myself around people that do nothing but drain me. Life is too short for that. Life is too short to live miserable. Life is too short just to be used in the wrong way. Use your life, of course, to bring more goodness to this world, right? Like, let, let's, let's be clear with that. But stop allowing people to take advantage of you over and over and over again. Like, you know, when somebody does something to you three times, four times, that's not a choice. I mean, that's not a mistake. That's a choice. Someone's choosing to treat you that way. And you're choosing to accept it. Like, you ain't got to accept that. 
And I get it. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to be alone. It's going to be hard to walk away. I'm tired. I understand that. But you know what's harder? It's staying in pain. You know what's harder? Staying in depression. You know what's harder? You know, not knowing your worth. That's what's harder. That's what's harder. So choose your heart. You feel me? So understand these facts that some people just want to use you and they're going to use you just as much as you allow them to. The more you let them get away with stuff, the more they're going to keep on doing it. And that's a, that's not just relationships. That's not just friendships. Like I said, that's any ship. And business is the same thing. The more you let somebody get away with something, they're going to keep on doing it. Like you got to set your, you got to put your foot down. You got to let people know what it's not going to be. Straight up, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't that don't make you a bad person? Only time, the only people that's going to make you feel bad for having standards in your life are people who want to use you. Do you understand that, right? It's so funny when I see people come on my posts and they say, oh, well, no, you shouldn't tell people this or that. You shouldn't tell people to cut people off. Usually those people are the people that need to be cut off. Usually it's those people that are trying to take advantage of people. And they don't want to hear that truth because they know when you wake up to the truth, then you cut those people off that's doing nothing but using you. Right? If it ain't reciprocated, then that relationship has to be annihilated. I know in the video I said, I know it was kind of like, oh, it's harsh. But it's real. If it's not reciprocated. And I ain't talking about it got to be equal. But if you ain't got my back and I always got your back, or I'm sitting here taking punches for you. You ain't never took a punch from me, threw a punch from me. I sit here and defend your name. You'll never stand up for me when I'm not there to stand up for myself. Right? If it ain't reciprocated, then that relationship got to be annihilated. I don't need that in my life. I don't want to ride with nobody who ain't really riding with me. I don't want to be friends with somebody who really ain't my friend. When times get hard, I can't find that person. I didn't been there. You guys, you see my videos, so you know I've been there. I don't want that. In my life. Why? I want somebody who, go, who who I know is going to be there for me in the hard times. And they know the exact same thing from me. I don't want to have to question nobody's loyalty. I don't want to have to worry about if they real or not. Because some of y'all ask that question way too much. Does this person love me? Is this person loyal? And you ask that question. Listen, if you asking that question over and over and over again, it's a reason why you asking that question. Like somebody who really cares for you. I said this a million times, is not going to put more questions in your life than answers. So if you asking all these questions about a person, then you probably got your answer, to be real with you. Stop allowing people to use you. You are not a tool. You're a person. Tools are to be used. You're a person. You're meant to be loved. You're meant to be cherished. You're meant to be respected. So stop allowing yourself to sit here and be used by people. And I don't care anybody. Because all that equals is that they're going to use you up. And you're going to lose yourself in the process and they're going to move on with their life and they're going to care nothing about you. It's OK to put yourself first for once. I know people say, oh, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't tell people. It's OK to put yourself first for once. Ain't nothing wrong with putting yourself first. Because an empty you benefits nobody else around you. It's OK to protect your peace. It's OK to protect your life. It's OK to say no. It's OK to cut people off. It's OK. It's OK to take care of your mental health. It's OK. Don't allow anybody else in this world to tell you that it's not. It's okay. So don't feel guilty for that. Like I said before, the only people that's going to make you feel guilty are people that use people. And they big mad because you didn't woke up to the truth. And so now they want to, oh, that, that's wrong of you. You shouldn't, and that ain't wrong at all. Stop allowing people to use you. Straight up, man. But like I tell you in every single video, it all starts with you. I can tell you this all day, but it's up to you. Refused to be used. And if you're being used and you're accepting it, you have something inside of you that needs to be fixed, that needs to be changed. Don't allow anybody to make you see a lesser version of yourself 
Don't allow yourself to see yourself through the eyes of someone who can care less about you. That's what manipulators do. That's what narcissists do. That's what fake friends do. Don't believe it. Because when you truly know who you are, when you truly know what you're worth, you don't accept anything less. And you don't care who like it, who don't agree with it, because it's your life. You got to live with it. You feel me? And you only get one of these. And if you like me, I refuse to spend my whole life in struggle, pain, stress. I refuse. I refuse to spend my whole life being used by people who can care less about me. Period. So I'm about to get off of here. But I really want you guys, if you haven't seen that video, watch it. Share it. If you have seen it, watch it again. Share it because the world, as we can see, needs to hear this message. Let me read some of y'all's comments real quick before I get off of here. Thanks. I knew you got man. Y'all know what's man, just y'all know what's real. Don't don't like I said, don't allow the voids in your life to make you dang. I really don't want to say this word. But to make you ignorant to your worth, I'll just say that word. Don't let the voids in your life make you ignorant, make you make you uh, weak. Right. Don't let them don't let it do that. Don't let loneliness make you accept something that, you know, ain't right for you. Like, you know it, you know it. I ain't telling you nothing you don't know. I've never told you anything you don't know. All I speak is common sense. I've never, you never probably watched the video and said, man, I never thought of, I might've put it in a different way, but all I tell you is common sense, but don't let the voids in your life control your life. Don't let the voids in your life control your life. That's why it's so important to work on yourself, to grow yourself. That's why it's so important to be in the growth environment. That's why it's so important to get around the right people. That's why it's so important to deal with your mess. It's so important because if you don't deal with these things, then you make yourself very open right? To things that really ain't for your life. Because you want to feel that void of loneliness, you go accept some mess that you know you're selling them for, right? You want to feel that void of significance, so you go take an opportunity that you know ain't right for your life. Think about that. That's why I'm always on you guys to like work on yourself. The most important work you ever will do is on you. It's on you. Deal with your stuff. It's okay. We all need help. It's okay to say I need help, but it's not okay to be used at all by nobody, period. It's time for you to put yourself first. If you don't know how to put yourself first, this is how you do it. Put yourself first. <laughs> Stop saying yes to everybody else before you say and saying no to yourself. Say yes to yourself first. So if, you have, if somebody, let's try this. If somebody wants something from you, say, you know what? I can't do it today because I'm taking care of me today. Or else, guess what? You're going to keep living the life that you're living. I'm sorry to put it to y'all straight up truth, step on your toes, but it's true. Like, if you keep accepting what you're accepting, nothing is going to change. You can pray for change. You can hope for change. You can all this stuff. stuff. But you, <clears throat> if you're keeping yourself in the same situation, nothing is going to change. If you keep the same mess in your life, nothing is going to change. If you keep allowing people to use you, Nothing is going to change. No matter how much you complain about it, nothing is going to change. You have to get to a point where you grab the scissors and cut that thing off, whatever it is. Well, that's not right at all. Cut that situation off. Don't cut things off. Don't do that. But cut that situation off. All right, period. When they handed you the scissors, right, never feel guilty for that. And I hope y'all got that line, right? When somebody handed you the scissors, meaning that they did you wrong, meaning that they whatever, right? You have a reason for it. You have a valid reason. It's not wrong for doing that. And I get it. Yes, some things can be worked on. People can change. I believe in all of that, okay? But only you know your situation. Only you know what you're going uh, through. So take what you need from this. Leave what you don't. Everything I'm saying tonight might not apply to you. Nothing might not apply to you. For some of you, all of it applies to you. How do you tell someone is using you? It's because they never give nothing to your life. They don't bring nothing to you at all. 
period. Like, you know when somebody using you. It's obvious. Y'all know y'all got greatness inside you, right? Like, you watching this right now. You know you have greatness inside you, right? You know you weren't created to, to live in brokenness, to settle, to live miserable. Like, you do know that, right? You know, I know life or somebody might have made you forget, but I want you to know that. Like, the same greatness that I am portraying, right? I'm putting out to the world that I live, it's available to you. But you know what I did? I got everything out of my life and around me that didn't help me be the best me. I let it go. And was it hard? Yes. But I refuse to be around things that ain't going to push me to be the best me. Period. Why? Because I got people depending on me being the best me. It's bigger than me. I'm not just doing this for myself. But if I'm always draining, I'm always, you know, uh, always angry, frustrated because I'm in situations and around people and things that just bring that out. There's no way I can be the greatest me. There's no way I can live in my greatness. There's no way I can make the world respect my greatness. No absolute way. So it comes down to this. As simple as this. You can either choose to accept it or you can choose not to. Those are your options in life. Either I'm going to accept this or I'm not. Either I'm going to change this or I'm not. That's it. No change happens without making a change. I don't know what else to tell you. I really don't. And I know it's easier said than done, all of that. And that stuff sounds good when you say it. But at the end of the day, that's an excuse. And I know a lot of you might not like me saying that. It might make you feel whatever, but it's the truth. If you want somebody else to sugarcoat, go follow somebody else. Because I'm not going to sugarcoat you. Like, I refuse to do that. Because that's not going to help you. But easier said than done is just an excuse to make you feel okay with not making a decision. Because we already know that it's easier said than done. But you know what? It becomes very possible when you realize that you're worth more, when you realize that there's more to your life than what you're settling for, it becomes very possible. When you get really tired and sick and tired and you really say, you know what, enough is enough, you'll do it. But it's, it's on you. It's your life. It's your life. I know what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to live. And I just hope I can influence you on a deeper level, coach you. To make the right decisions to move your life forward. Because there's so much beauty and freedom. I, I, like once, once you experience life without the toxic stuff. You never want to go back. That's why I'm so passionate about this stuff. That's why I'm so passionate about removing things from your life. Like I've been talking about this for the last 10 years. 10 years. And some of you have been following me for the last seven, eight. Some of you recent. But for the last 10 years, I've been talking about it because I know the power of removing things from your life. Because once you remove things from your life that don't need to be there, it frees you. It brings clarity to your life. It drops the weight. It drops the stress. And you're able to operate in a different mindset. But some of y'all trying to climb this mountain of life, carrying all this weight, all this unnecessary weight. And you wonder why it's a struggle. You wonder why you can't make it. Because you're trying to take all this stuff with you that don't even want to go with you. Some of it. And so they're resisting against you. You're trying to keep climbing while they're trying to resist. And these things in your life. That's why I talk about removal and releasing. Because until you do that, you cannot rebuild your life. You can't. I mean, you actually you can, but guess what? Those things are still there. Those things are still there. So, as I said, it all starts with you. 
That's your power right there. It all starts with you. The responsibility is yours. Isn't that great that you got the responsibility? Like responsibility scares some people. I love responsibility because responsibility puts it on me. It's on my back. I can choose to change this. I can choose to say, nah, I don't want to be around this. I can choose to rekindle this. I can choose to break free from this. The responsibility is yours. You always have that. And when you own it, whew, that's when life becomes beautiful. When you know, and God got you through the process. Like you, 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 <laughs> you know what keeps us in situations? We forward think too much in a negative way. We telling ourselves, oh, I'm not going to be able to survive or oh, I need this. And if I don't, then I'm not going to have this. And you ain't trusting God. God got you. When I make decisions, I make them. I don't even think about my life without it. I know how my life is with it. If my life, <laughs> if my life with it ain't good, I don't care how my life without it is. It got to be better. And I know God got me. But you have to make that decision. There's thousands of people across the world who's been listening to me, who's made those decisions. And I'm sure you can read in the comments, people have, you know, they always say it like, man, I just did this. I did this little small shift. I, I made this big decision that was just one decision and it completely changed my life. One decision, one choice can completely change your life. One just one can completely change your life. Some people just want to use you. And when you give them what they want from you, that's when you'll know. That's when you'll know. God's got you. That's right, Carrie. He do. God got you. So I don't be tripping. For what? Why worry? Why stress? For what? Control what you can control. We, we all go through this time where we forget we, who we are. That's how this world's programmed to make us think and the potential that we have. But you know the thing about potential that I'm afraid of? A lot of people are never going to meet their potential. A lot of people is never going to meet that greatest version of themselves. Not because they're not capable. It's because of what they're choosing to settle for. They'll never meet the person they were supposed to be. Like that's that's scary to me. Like I got to meet that person. And I don't even think I've met that person yet. And I don't know, I think the person grows every time as we progress. You know, I don't think we'll ever meet that person until we tap out. But that's what I go for, to meet that person. Like I don't want to live life knowing that I just lived a limited version of my of this of the person I was created to be. Nah, man, life ain't meant for that. Because when you're doing that, it's not only disrespectful to you, disrespectful to God, it's disrespectful for the people that need you to be that person. Just imagine if I would have never walked into my calling and, be, and became the person that you guys know today. Just imagine if I would have never did that. And I would have just accepted the limited version that was comfortable, that was cool, that was profitable. If I just would have accepted that version of myself and I would have never walked into the person that I am to just imagine that. Just imagine if rehab time would have never started. Right? So it's selfish. And I know that word stings, but I gotta say it and it's real. It's selfish for you not to meet the greatest you. It's selfish. It's selfish for you to settle for a lesser version of yourself that you know, that you know, that you know ain't the person you were created to be. That's selfish. That is a selfish, selfish thing. There's a greater version of you waiting for you, but you accepting all this stuff. You you being entertained by all this stuff. You you know you 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 fall into temptation. All these things, and you live this limited life, this stressful life. Like when you live down here, it's crowded down here, right? But when you rise above, it ain't crowded up there. You know, I, I was hiking Camelback Mountain on Friday. At the bottom, everybody was at the bottom. Because the bottom was easy. The bottom was convenient. But as you climbed up the mountain, as it got hard, wasn't nobody up there. 
Because people ain't willing to climb. And I need you to be willing to climb in your life. And stop accepting this limited version of you. Everything that you want, I'm not going to say that you want, because sometimes what we want isn't what we need, so I'm not going to say that. But the person you were created to be is waiting on you. But it's going to take some things that you got to do. It's going to take some removal from, from uh, it's going to take some removal. It's going to take some discipline. It's going to take some commitment. It's going to take some sacrifices. It's going to take some cutting people off and out your life that you might care about, but you know that ain't for you. It's going to take these things in order to meet that person. You know, when people say, Trent, you're so lucky to, to be who you are. I said, man, you don't know what I went through to be who I was. You didn't know what I removed myself from. You didn't know what I stopped doing, what I said no to in order to become this person. I said no to a lot of things in order to get my yes. That is discipline, people. I said no to the things that seemed good, feel good, were good in order to get my yes. But a lot of us, we will never meet that person because we'll rather be comfortable living this limited version of ourselves. 90% of people in the world never meet the person that they were created to be. All the potential in the world that you have, all the potential. But you know what? Potential means absolutely nothing if you're not working to meet your potential. It means absolutely nothing. It's always like the story I tell with the flower. This beautiful flower could have all the potential in the world to grow. But if this flower is in the wrong environment, guess what? It doesn't matter how much potential it had. It's never going to grow. And you are that flower. Some of you are in the wrong environment. That's not helping you grow. Some of you are in the wrong relationships. That's not helping you grow. Some of you are in the wrong mindset. That's not helping you grow. But it's your life. It's on you. I'm not slowing down. I don't know about you. I know a lot of people on here ain't slowing down. I ain't turning down for nothing or no one. Because there's a mission in my life that most people couldn't even understand. There's a mission for your life that most people wouldn't be able to understand. Hope y'all get this, man. I hope this is touching somebody's heart. I hope somebody's going to really make a change, man. And you know what? Uh, success is easy. That's easy. That's the easy part. But you know what's hard? It's doing the things to become successful. The easy things. That's why I always say it's easy, but it's hard because people don't want to do the easy things. Success is easy. Not losing yourself in the process is what's hard. Start living an intentional life. Intentional. Be intentional. Be intentional about who's around you. Be intentional about what you put in your body. Be intentional about how you treat yourself. Be intentional about how you show up every single day. Start being intentional. Some of y'all ain't intentional. You're responsive. You're responding to everything. And you're allowing that to control your life. You're controlled by your emotions. A person that's controlled by their emotions will never get to the place their life deserves to be. Ever. Because you're allowing your emotions to control your life. And I know I'm talking about a lot tonight, but I hope somebody gets this. I don't care if it's one person out of these 3,000 here that's on here right now. I hope one person gets this. Look yourself in the mirror and take responsibility over your life. It's yours. It's not your mama's life. It's not your daddy's life. It's not your brother's life. It's not your, it's your life. And you owe it to God. God blessed you with life. There's only one of you, your uniqueness, your greatness. It is your life. And it's time for you to walk into your greatness. It's time for you to unleash it and stop keeping it bottled up for people that probably don't care about you anyway. Like I've told you a thousand times. It all starts with you. You know why I say those words? Because I told myself that. I told myself that. I said, Trent, it all starts with you. That's why I started telling y'all that because I told myself that and it worked. It made me take the responsibility over my life because it wasn't nobody else going to do something for me. Like if y'all wait on somebody to save you, right, besides Christ, if you wait on somebody to save you, a person, an opportunity, like ain't, like you, ain't nobody going to save you, right? That's the mindset you're going to have. Of course, God might place people in your life to help your life. I get that. But if you're waiting on 
on somebody, you're going to be waiting for the rest of your life. If you're waiting on opportunity, you might be waiting for the rest of your life. Go create your opportunity. You got a brain, you smart. I know you let failure and people tell you that you ain't. You're going to be waiting your whole entire life. Your whole entire life. And you're going to look back when you're 80 years old and realize you lived your whole entire life for what? To please people? Right? To impress people? Nah, man. Not me. Not me. And people can say whatever they want to say. Nah. Not on my watch. And if you follow me, support me, I ain't, I'm not ever going to let you do that. Well, I'm going to try my hardest not to. That's the message that I preach, I live by, and I stand by to the day I leave here, man. Because I knew, I, I, I know what it is to live on both sides of this. Like, I know what it is to walk into your greatness. And you guys know my story. Like, you know, like, like you see it. You see it. And watch this on replay, please. Because I, I know I went all over the place. Watch it on replay. And I'm a, like, we see, it should be even more inspiring. I'm, you guys, I'm a normal human being just like you that just made some decisions. Decisions, decisions will free your life, will grow your life, or will hinder your life, or will enslave your life. Decisions, choices, choices. Choose, man. Just make a choice. Make a choice for the betterment of yourself, the betterment of those around you, your family. Make a choice. Some of you have been controlled by your addictions and voids for way too long. And you're expecting God to take you to a place where you think you should be. But God's not going to take you there if you're not ready to be there. Feel me? God loves you too much to bring you to a place just to have you fail. Your next level of life requires a different version of you. And I'm not talking about some fake it till you make it phony version of yourself. I'm talking about a better you, right? A more progressive you, a better mindset. It requires a new level of you. And in order to get to that new level, you have to make decisions at this level. What I told you on Rise Above. In order to move up, there's some things you must be willing to give up. In order to get ahead, there's some things you must be willing to leave behind. Holding on to your limitations don't help you reach new destinations. Carrying dead weight don't help you be great. Never let the fear of losing people cause you to lose yourself. This is your journey, right? I'm never going to stop doing what I'm doing. I'm never going to stop rehabbing the world. And I'm for sure never going to stop making the world respect my greatness. Because I want to make sure I influence you. To make sure you make the world respect your greatness. It all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.